In the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Please be seated. Well, welcome to our family reunion. That's what we're celebrating today, right? Our family reunion of the body of Christ, All Saints Day, a time where we all come together and, and remember all those who have gone before, celebrate all those who have gone before, and lift up all the saints of the communion. And it is our family reunion as the body of Christ. We all know family reunions, right? Either we love to go to them, or we're kind of like, oh, do I have to go to this reunion? Because reunions are always fun, aren't they? Reunions, you, you get the joy of meeting those people in your family. You don't get to choose your family very well, do you? But you get to meet all of them, and, and some of them are great, and some of them you're just kind of like, okay, you know. And then you always kind of get to that point during that reunion where those memories start being shared. Some of those stories that maybe as you were younger, you don't really want to be shared. And then those memories of those who have gone before us, of Aunt Ethel down the way. Remember Aunt Ethel and how she used to do such and such? Or Grandma and Grandpa or Great Grandma and Grandpa. Remember, remember how they used to be out on the farm and do their, their things out there. Remember what they taught us. Reunions are great until you get to that awkward moment where all of a sudden that weird uncle shows up and no one really knows what to do. Weird uncles. Uh, uncles always get the blunt of these jokes, don't they? There's always the weird uncle. Well, maybe it's the weird aunt or the weird sister. But they always kind of show up and you're like, wow, they're just kind of out there, aren't they? We're not really sure we want to connect with them. But that's a reunion. That's family, isn't it? And that ex that's exactly what we celebrate today at All Saints Sunday. The reunion of our family, the Christian family, the reunion, the reunion of that body of Christ. And I know at one point at uh, many other reunions, usually there's that list of all the new, new babies that have come. And hopefully there's a, a few new babies there to, to kind of hold and cuddle and, and kind of say, okay, now things are all right. We've lost grandma, we've lost grandpa, but you know what? Now this young little child is here in our hands. And today we have that opportunity. No, Christina and, and Kim, we're not going to hold you and, and cuddle on you. But today we have these new converts to the faith coming to be baptized. And we get to celebrate that new life, that new birth within the, the community of faith. So today is our reunion day, if you will. I got to wonder, how many millions have gathered on this day for this reunion around the world? I mean, think about the vastness of all the people gathering on this day with the, around this world to celebrate All Saints Sunday. Think of the hundreds of thousands probably that are being baptized this day, being brought into the faith. That's what we get to celebrate. That's what we are joyfully celebrating on this day, is that we are the body of, of faith. We are the body of Christ, and we come together as a family, and we remember all the blessed saints, those who have gone before, those who are amongst us, those who will be brought into that body of Christ this day, and the generations to come after these. What an amazing celebration. And for that, we have the, out of the Gospel of Matthew, we have those wonderful Beatitudes. Blessed are those who. Th those are the saints, all of us. We are blessed not because of what we do, but because who we are. That we are members of that body of Christ. And I love this list I've got to, wonder, I've got to wonder what people really think when they read these Beatitudes for the very first time, especially if they know what's coming. If they know that this is that, that part of the Bible where it talks about those who are blessed. 
Now, if you came up to someone on the street and say, name someone who is blessed, what would their response be? What would your response be if I came up to you and kind of said, Let me, share with me someone who is blessed? I would hope our answer inside these walls would be a little bit different than just someone out on the street. Because in today's world, unfortunately, what I hear over and over again is, oh, aren't they blessed? They got that brand new expensive home. Oh, aren't they blessed because they have that really nice fancy car. Oh, aren't they blessed because they got that job and that promotion and, well, now they make lots of money, so God must be blessing them more than everyone else. Isn't that the story we hear? But that's not the truth. Listen to what the Bible has to say. Listen to what Jesus says to those of his followers, to us. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the peacemakers. Now, if I gave you that list without knowing the gospel, yet yeah, probably wouldn't be on your top ten, would it, of those who are blessed. But we are blessed not because of what we do, but because who we are. We are children of God, and therefore we are blessed. Even while we mourn, we have to know that we are blessed. Even though our hearts are breaking, we have to know that we are blessed. What would those beatitudes look like in today's world? If Jesus was here amongst us today and we went up to the top of uh, Breckenridge, uh, up on top of the mountain, of course we'd have skis on, but we'd go up there and what would Jesus teach us then with the beatitudes? Maybe something like this. Blessed is the unwed mother, for she is never alone. Blessed are those who have lost a child, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who fight addictions, for there is a higher power out there. Blessed is the couple who have not been able to bear children, for God is with them. Blessed are the unemployed. Blessed are the divorced. Blessed are those sleeping in the streets. Blessed are those who do not even think that they are blessed. Blessed are those. Fill in the blank. Who are those in today's world that you think need to know they are blessed? Who are those around us that need to hear that word, that think that they might be on the outside, that their lives not, might not be one that God would bless, but yet they are children of God? So in that, then we go as Christians, we go as God's hands and feet out into the world and let them know that they are blessed. We have all those saints of the, of the world, don't we? The capital S saints and the lowercase s saints. Lowercase right here in front of you. But you know what? I'm still a saint of God. I'll never have a capital S saint in front of me, I am sure. And if you talk to my wife, she is really sure. <laughs> But we are all still saints of God, not because of what we do, but because who we are. We are blessed. And it's our job to go out and share that news out into the world. So who are those around you that might not feel like they are the riches of the world? Who are those around you that feel like they might not be blessed at all? who can use a blessing and can know, can benefit by knowing that they are blessed. Maybe those are the ones that we need to reach out on this day to. Share with them what that blessing looks like. Share with them that they are God's beloved. One of the capital S saints that we celebrate on this day is Brother Lawrence. Now, this isn't the Brother Lawrence that was the monk just recently. This uh, Brother Lawrence was back in 258 A.D., so when the church was just starting, just trying to figure out exactly who we are as a church. He was called by the Pope, ordained, and, and given 
control over all the riches of the church at that time. All the money, all the land, all the possessions was in his hands to make sure they were dealt with properly. Well, then a new emperor came into power, and the emperor beheaded that pope because he wanted that power, and he wanted those riches. So the, the, the emperor calls Brother Lawrence in and says, bring me the riches of this church. Bring me all the possessions and the riches of this church, and I'll, get, I'll take control of those. So Lawrence went out and collected all the riches of the church at that time, and he gave them to the poor. He took a chalice from one church, a silver chalice, and gave it to a family. He, gave, he signed deeds over to different families of land, saying, here, it is yours, take it. And in three days, when the emperor called him to, into his presence and said, bring me the riches of this church, Brother Lawrence walked up, and as soon as he was asked to bring those riches, he opened, had the back doors open, and in came flooding in the poor, the lame, the destitute, those newly baptized, those who had been walking in, with their walkers for a long time. And Lawrence said, here is the riches of this church. Of course, he ended his life in, at that same moment and all. But what, what would it be like to truly see in each and every person of the church that they are blessed and they are the riches of this church because that's exactly who we are. So today at this family reunion, may we welcome all in. The weird uncles, the stoic aunts, the grandparents who can just barely make it here, the young mothers who are trying to get here might be a little late because they've been working and trying to get the children dressed and out of the house. The poor who might have just come off the streets from sleeping. May we welcome all into this reunion. May we assure them that they too are blessed. And may we assure them, may we welcome them in to the family which is the body of Christ. May this, this be our celebration this day as we baptize two new adults into this faith. May we think about the thousands and thousands of others being baptized this day, young and old. May we think about those out on the street that might not think that they are blessed. And may we share with them, with all of them, God's blessings, that they are God's riches, and that they too, like us, are blessed by a merciful and loving God. In Christ's name we pray.